Dr. Schaub, I wonder why do you think women suffer from stress and anxiety more often than men? Or do you think that men just don't report it? No, I think there is definitely some truth to the fact that women are right now especially more prone to anxiety. And I think there are two major reasons for that. One is the external reason, which is uh, the pressure on women is just extremely high, uh, especially when we think about the changes in the role of women these days. So there is the traditional role of women, which is all about, you know, being at home, uh, taking care of kids and so on. But then there is also the desire to be more in the career and have uh, your own professional successes. And these two full-time jobs certainly create a lot of obstacles and a lot of uh, senses of overwhelm with women. Plus the pressure from the media, especially in terms of how a woman is supposed to be, the idea of perfection is certainly increasing also than the, the worry of not being able to measure up or fit in. And then there is some internal uh, reasons that we can talk more about, reasons about the brain, reasons about how women just naturally have evolved that can also predispose women to greater anxiety levels. Is there an age when these things usually start in women or do they just, is, are they always there and you become aware of them as you get older? No, I think uh, you're absolutely right that it starts very early in life and uh, often in our childhood. And and certainly uh, there are studies that show it gets worse when the hormones in puberty kick in, which also has, again, to do with external factors and body image issues. And then interestingly enough, it gets also then another, uh, it, it spikes another time at menopause or right when women go into menopause, which may have a, a hormonal component. But I think in women in general, there is there are two factors that are different between women and men. And in general, I don't like to generalize, but uh, you know, for the sake of this conversation, I think it's important to point out women are have the tendency to be more sensitive and empathetic. There is a part in the brain that's called the insula that actually makes women hold on to emotions longer. So they see, for example, somebody in pain or they imagine someone uh, criticizing them and they actually hold on to this emotion longer than men. Men have the ability to push the emotion aside and then think about how do I fix that or how do I deal with this? So that's one you know, where you would say uh, the sensitivity factor, the awareness factor is greater. And, and the other one is uh, the anxiety switch. The anxiety switch in the brain is called the amygdala. It's a part of the midbrain, which when we have a lot of anxiety, usually is more sensitized. In women, the amygdala is connected to the body and also to the part of the brain that's uh, dealing with language. And this way, women feel their anxieties much more and want to talk about it more than men. Men have it more into the, again, problem uh, solution oriented uh, part of the brain. And women have more a whole body reaction to their emotions, which makes the emotions also harder to deal with.